Hi Taurus, Lebo, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation uh, with my co-stars, the big girls. Thank you. How y'all been? It's been quite some time since y'all had y'all own read, so here we are. Okay. Um, I pray that you are all truly well and fine. Thank you. All right. Now then. Please like the video if you hear something that resonates with you. Everything is not going to resonate with you. It's a general read. <laughs> Many of us have said this thousands of times. Thank you. Now then, I should have said that on the other reads. But anyways, y'all cool though. Y'all really be chilling. Now let me see here. Mind y'all business. So I ain't got to worry about y'all going on the other reads. Like you ain't say it over here. Okay. Now. Any information that you need is in the description box, yes, yes. Thank you all for your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Taurus, I need y'all to get y'all feet moving. I need y'all to get more energized, more energetic, optimistic, enthusiastic, happy about life, being grateful and having gratitude. I need some of that going on with y'all. I don't know why I feel like y'all been in the bullpen and tripped out. Y'all tripped out? This ain't it. Now, what Tarvis got going on? Being patient and waiting for some paper. Maybe you're waiting for a job or something. I don't know what you got going on, but we about to see. What this Tarvis got going on, honey? Mm -mm, that ain't it. What's what they got going on? What they need to hear today? The door to spirit. Contract. Woman holding a heart. First chakra, root chakra. Okay. Financial constraints. Okay. A man holding the coin upside down. Taurus, what's going on? Let me see, Chad. I knew it was some happy family. Storm in reverse. That's good. Okay. Because I don't know how these went back in reverse. I cleaned them up on. What reading was it? Yeah. God of the Moon. Go on ahead and start uh, working on that part now. So let's get into that first. Because she is crossing financial constraints and door to spirit. Okay? Now, money is a frequency. You hop on the frequency and you ride that bitch out. Okay? Money comes in and it goes out just like the tide. It's the moon right here. You walk into the door of spirit. You have an understanding of how things work, but you go back and forth with yourself. Why is you doing that? Oh, it's part of your growth. <laughs> gotcha. Now then, Taurus, when it's the time to move and it's the time to stay still. There's some type of contract here that is going on. Yeah, let's get these. There's some type of contract or something that um, a legality possibly between you and possibly a water sign or you and... Um, I don't know, that may be your sister, child. But this could be you, but I'm, I'm seeing that this is another person. Something is coming in for you that you've been waiting for here. There's a lot of orb activity around. This is a lot of ancestral energy around this, especially with this root chakra and this happy family coming in like this right here. There is a strong something clearing out your root chakra, and they are working with you. You got a three moving into a five. This is you working with spirit, the most high, and doing what you need to right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to that man in reverse, Chad, because this, that's somebody that's very greedy. That's someone very all about them. Okay, enough about you. Whew. Clarify these first three cards. I'm just going to go ahead and start clarifying. I ain't had to do this all day. Taurus, I don't know what. Look. There it is. The Eight of Pentacles. Keep working. They told you that. Stay focused. Okay? Um, with that Eight of Pentacles here now with this daughter spirit and this moon card something is going to be revealed to you there may be something in your home that you're not paying attention to the secret is in your home the maybe there's an heirloom that you um, forgot about or something like that there is a secret in your home and when you find it, you're gonna be like aha how's she holding up this moon I think that's a moon it's an orb aha Something you've been looking for. Now look here. <sighs> you're finding the truth in your house. Basically. You are being led, nudged, pushed. I don't know what it is. You are being led to something in your house that has, holds a lot of value. Okay? And you want to be mindful of who you share that with. Because this man is on the other side of this. Now, 
hear me out. It could be that you are in the reverse because it is an earth sign that's in the reverse or just someone who is very mischievous when it comes to finances, mischievous when it comes to material things, okay? They value material things more than anything. But you got all these spirit cards in here, okay? Maybe you are going to court with someone. Now, this is for only a few people. Y'all may be splitting your assets or something like that. Maybe it's an inheritance that you are splitting or something like that. And you are wondering why this person wants this so bad. Whatever it is you find in your house. They want it so bad. They wouldn't do anything to get it. They might even try to start some shit, but the storm is in the reverse. You see. When you find this, when you are nudged toward this, when you see what this is, protect it. Because whoever this is is trying to uh, fuck with your happiness. You got happiness and the moon. Something being revealed to you on the side of this storm warning. This uh, storm warning in the reverse. You chipping away at what the fuck needs to be chipped away at? It's a pickaxe, and you know, pick. You need a pickaxe to climb the mountain. Hmm? Well, y'all need to calm down, Taurus. What's going on with this, uh, whatever you want to clarify, honey? Maybe your mama. Something that your mama left you. Something that your mama was supposed to give you. Uh, something that was supposed to have you, um, I guess, spider. You know, now I've been reading Charlotte's Web. Okay. Ordered it last year and really got to read it out the whole thing. But I remember in the cartoon, because I didn't know what them little balls would look, they looked like little balls of what I would think was cotton when I was little. And they were spider babies or whatever. That's what I feel like. Somebody weaved a web of deceit. And now the motherfucking, the truth is hatching. Just hold on, Taurus. The truth is hatching. Excuse me. Now then. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. What's going on with these first three cards? Somebody left you some. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody trying to get your defenses down. Hmm? Judgment will be served. This seven of wands in reverse. Somebody must think like that's how you avoid this storm. Somebody trying to get your defenses down or they're trying to do something here. Because they think that you are naive or something like that. Okay? Because it's seven ones in the reverse. They think that you're not standing on your truth. But that's why Archangel Uriel comes in to say it today. Okay? Get you grounded. All right? Get you paying attention to who and what you need to pay attention to. That's the happy family card, the ten of cups. Card is coming out reversing shit. Seven of ones in reverse. Balancing out. So you want to turn that seven of wands um, around. But this may be that they are so money motivated. Okay. They may be so money motivated that they don't know that um, this storm is not going to work. Let me see here, Chad. Clarify uh, this uh, with seven of wands in reverse then, honey. Told you. Tap court. Tower going to hit because somebody's defenses is down. Tower hitting. Now, what is this uh, financial constraints? Somebody want to see the kid. What is this financial constraints, please? It's probably y'all weren't ready to see me. I'm trying to figure it out. Because y'all been getting all this information. I must be affirming or confirming or validating something for you right there. Just a little bit. It don't take much for you to listen to yourself and know which way you need to go with this to balance things out because you got the contract card here, which is the justice card. Justice. What is this uh, financial constraint? Somebody tried to put you in a pole house. It didn't work. What is this justice card, Chad? Because what has Taurus got going on? Ten of Wands. It's over. It's a wrap. It's done. The cycle is complete. We just completed all them cycles uh, uh, with that uh, with Libra season kicking in. Shit shut down, cut down, closed out. It's a snake wrapped around them ones, taking them down into the depths of the core of the earth is what we're going to call it. They say it's very hot in the core of the earth. Justice is certain. What is this uh, first chakra, honey? <laughs> Justice again. With the nine of swords. There's nothing for you to worry about, stress about. Don't even complain. This ain't even your season of complaining, Taurus. You want to keep moving forward. Okay? 
Justice is being served, okay? Stress, worry, anxiety, overthinking. It could even be insomnia. It could be as simple as that. Because I think uh, Aries got insomnia over there. And they did. Just a little bit, a little touch. Okay? It's part of your ascension process. What is this man in the reverse? It could be a man, woman, chick, or child. We don't know. Not very wise. Okay? Whoever this is. What is this man holding the coin in reverse? Guard yourself. I told you, that's in the upright. Seven of one. Protect yourself from this person. Okay? No get rich quick schemes. No, uh, you know, read the fine details before you get into anything because that's how you're going to avoid this. Take time out to spend time with your family. Okay? Don't make an executive decision without your husband or your wife. I would recommend, unless that is your husband or your wife, then I don't know, bitch. I don't get a man folks business. What is this? Uh, you want to stand in your truth and stand guard right here. Justice, once justice is served, you ain't got to go back to this, okay? Anything that this person tries to do is going to be uh, speared. It's a lot of folks spearing at them. What is this seven of wands, please? Three of pentacles. Does somebody want to work with you? Somebody want a partnership with you. Or it may be that you work with this person and y'all didn't know that, you know, this person had somebody or however they go. Maybe it's your work husband or your work wife that you need to guard yourself from. They got bad intentions. If they, You got to know that a person got bad intentions if they got somebody and trying to cheat. Okay? You know their intentions bad. They ain't got no integrity. Oh, back in the day when I used to cheat, I didn't have no integrity. Now then... What is this storm warning in reverse for Taurus, Chad? This is getting um, legal advice as well. Storm warning in reverse. The nine of wands. Now that you made it through that, you can make you know that you can be resilient and make it on through. Just keep on following your intuition. Use your logic and reason. Get out your feelings. Ain't no emotions uh, in trying to make decisions. What is this goddess of the moon, honey? You're seeing things for what they are. You're finally seeing things in a more balanced and grounded way. You're seeing things from a perspective here with this justice card that you are seeing how justice works. You're seeing how karma works. You're seeing how um, they prolong in this legal case. Like, why are they prolonging it so damn long? Because of this person. And you, I don't know if it's you the person or not. It's not for me to determine. It. But it's because of somebody. Let's get a lighter message. Thank you. Get the angel oracle. Because you can, you know, get over that. Um, I also feel like uh, with this woman holding the heart, you are seeing what really matters to you. Because she's crossing the financial constraints and the happy family. A balanced, stable um, home life. A balanced, stable Like What really matters to you? Right? Oof. What you got for Taurus? What you got for... Uh oh. Thank you. About time. All right. You have a gift for working with young people. And that may be it as well. You may be um, have stepchildren or. Okay. I need y'all to chill out. Uh, you may have stepchildren or you just may see that you. Um, with helping and teaching and parenting children, you may see that as, like some of y'all may be in a space where, okay, so let's look at it like that real quick. I'm just going to see it, okay? You may be in a space where your spouse is just money, 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 and um, you are, you know, letting them deal with how they're looking at money and how they feel like provide, 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 and got to have, you know, whatever they're chasing, whatever they're chasing out there, and you go more into your role in this situation, okay, for y'all get, take it too personal. You go more into your role of how you can probably possibly, okay, you're going to go out there and work like that and do all that right there. You know, whatever you're going to do, how you're going to do it to prevent our children from, um, you know, uh, falling into the conditioning of the school system. I'm going to stay home and, you know, do this and that and that and this. And I'll get some kind of grants where I can teach other people cheers too or something like that. I don't know what you got going on, but that was a nice little something going on. Now... What do you have? Woo! What do you have for Taurus chair? Mm-hmm. Probably pregnant. A lot of folks been pregnant here today. 
pregnant with ideas possibly i don't know but this is raising isaiah okay this is giving birth to new ideas new projects new ways of doing things changing your life um isaiah is watching over you to help you and guide you and protect you here when it comes to some changes that are being made here and you're going to see something where you can't deny what you're seeing you know what i mean excuse me y'all sorry child sorry child Ask yourself what takes you closer to your divine purpose and what brings you away from it. Be very confident about um, when you're weighing the pros and cons. Be very confident in the decision that you make so that you can move forward, right? Because you avoid a tower. You avoid um, something that happens that is birth, some type of truth that is birth. You may even have a book in you that needs to be written. There may even be something that you um, look into uh, from the past, right? Um, of course, on, in this house, we tell y'all. Go look through your emails, old emails, text messages, um, check your spam folders, uh, check your old journals around this time last year. What is it that may need to uh, you may need to birth out into the world now? Yeah, I know the vibes. What, oh, Venusian. See, ah, oh, Taurus. All right, so Venusian Galactic Council is here. Star Beam Guides, answer the call. It's time for you to shine. You can't really see it, can you? All right, sorry about that. This is that Venus energy. You just stepping fully into it. Wherever um, Venus is in your chart, it's time for you to stand on that, okay? Angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe. Potent connection. Strongly connected. And see, that's what they, they walked in the door saying it with Door to Spirit. They walked in the door saying, <clears throat> excuse me, I told you, your guides all up in here. Yo, your protection, your angels, you just got to connect to them. A lot of times they can't make no move till you be like, look, please move. Make some, you know, protect me, make something happen. Do this, do that. Okay. Clearing out the clutter. Storm one in, you, you avoid a, uh, a tower that would have been, and it don't, I don't feel like it's a, it was a, a natural tower is a natural, um, way of things occurring in your path when uh, it's an out a tower trying to happen outside of you someone trying to uh, create a tower this has more to do with you know you align like it's the equivalent of uh collateral damage it's the equivalent of um uh, being convicted by association it's the equivalent of wrong place, wrong motherfucking time. Not listen to your angels, ancestors, your guides, whatever it is you got going on. Okay? You ain't listening. So you listen. I think you did. All right? What do you have for these Torians in her chair? Star being healing codes. Important information. Wounds are healed. Recharging. And I think Chiron was, um, maybe um, there's a lot of your Chiron energy that here recently you healed a lot of things when it comes to that part of your chart here Whew. which has opened you opened your gifts wide the fuck up so you are very much so very open to um a lot of you, you may be very sensitive to a lot of um inner energies at this time so you want to be mindful of that be mindful of how you are connecting and what you are connecting to to ensure that it's for the greatest good of you and all those that you will affect right Whew. What information do you have for these beautiful Torians, honey? You are being called into service. Believe in your own motherfucking guidance. It said right there. Uh, uh, believe in your own motherfucking guidance. Hmm? What? Taurus, y'all some transformers. I don't know why they're like it's a transformer in her. It's a five. This is change. This is... Um, Something that you've been working on now, it's about the, it's about to go through. Oh, there go a lady coming through with some wings. This lady face just set, popped right out. Oh. All right. Real quick. Um. I would say her hair is blowing. She has a prominent forehead. Okay. Kind of like mine. It's a prominent forehead. Okay. Um, narrow nose. Here. Someone is coming through. She may be in her mid-twenties. 
There's somebody watching over some of y'all. But over her. Oh, she helping to protect you. There's an older woman in this card trying to come out. And she's kind of sneaky, whoever this older woman is. She kind of sneaky. When she smiles, it wrinkles up right here. I can't do it. Whatever, don't look like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's Botox. Uh, nothing against y'all with Botox, but I'm just saying this is an older woman, right? Maybe uh, 60s, 70s. Oh, she come off like she's innocent or childlike too. But Okay, so what I was going to say about the Botox is that maybe she didn't get this done up in her or maybe after so long... Uh, it don't work no more or something I don't know I'm not trying to be funny But that's the frown that she has to me The smile that she has She's trying She's These two people One person It's a man came up out of here I'm going to get out of here Chad But I feel like the younger woman That's helping to protect you Or the woman who is in spirit She may not have uh, You may not have known her This other person is trying to block this person out From helping you Okay, there's an owl coming through here, a cat. Why does it look like one of them rabbits, a jackrabbit? The rabbit is smiling with big eyes. It's a cat rabbit. It's a rat, a, a rabbit, a, a cat. Bye. Uh, drop a rabbit down below because we hopping the fuck up out of here.